Hey guys, this is Evelyn, and um, today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to crop a GIF and add coloring to it. This is the coloring that we're going to be doing to it. Um, it's a few frame, it's a few layers. It's a selected color, another selected color, a curve and a vibrance. I'm not going to show you the exact coloring. I'm just going to show you how to put a coloring onto the image. So first, you're going to go to File, and you're going to go to Open. I mean, Import Video Frames to Layers, and you're going to select the video. I have this one here. It's supposed to be named L Joe, but it named it L. Oops. Select range only, and it's just a clip of him. Actually, if I play it to you, for you, it's just that, and it has a um, blur effect to it because what I um, did to make the GIF gave it a blur effect. I'm gonna limit two to every frame, or I'm actually gonna limit four, maybe five. And I'm just gonna move the tassel back to the beginning. I'm gonna hold shift. And click my fast forward button layer just to select it. And we'll click OK. And it's going to load. And it gave me 12 frames, which is good. Now it's time to crop. I use my crop tool to change my size. You can always change the full image size by going to image size and changing it however you want. But I want to change it myself. So I use my crop tool, which is uh, C and the um, keyboard for shortcut. And you're just going to click and drag to select it. I'm just going to select that one part and I'm click play and it moves a bit fast. So I'm changing the speed. And if you watched my previous how to make a GIF video, you know how to change the speed yourself um, as well. So that's how I like it. <clears throat> that's what I like it. That's how I like the way it looks. I keep saying that. I forget forget what I was saying. And now we're going to add the coloring. So what we're going to do is we're going to just select all the coloring. Use our move tool, click and drag it over. And as you see, the coloring only colored the first wave is because when I dragged it, I dragged it only over the first layer. So, what you're going to do is you're going to want to click and drag it to the top, or for safety, or just because you have your first frame layer, click here and always have your last layer in your layers palette clicked, and then add the coloring like so. And press play. And that looks good. Now for the final touches, if you want to sharpen your image, you're going to have to go to each frame and sharpen it. So, filter, sharpen. And then control F for shortcut to um, sharpen it without going back to filter and sharpen. Like so. Okay, so now all our frames are sharpened. We're going to press play one more time. And it looks good. And there you go. So I hope this tutorial helps you guys. I hope you guys like it. And don't forget to comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.